Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma on Friday inaugurated the Meghalaya Digital Dispensary at Tura to be managed and run by Apollo Hospitals. The digital dispensary is part of state government's Smart Town project. It is located in the campus of Foodcraft Institute, Dakop Grey Tura. The intervention is supported by government of Meghalaya. The telehealth centre will provide teleconsultation and there will be general OPD and speciality services in the centre. Meghalaya's opposition chief whip P.T. Saukme on Friday has urged the government that the Assam-Meghalaya border issue should be brought to the Assembly for discussion and consideration before any decisions are made between the two chief ministers. Saukme said that whatever decisions or discussions, he and majority of the people of the state are very clear that not an inch of their land should go to Assam. The Maulai MLA has urged all political parties, leaders and social organisations to cooperate and support the government in this move to resolve the border issue. The CEM of the JHADC, Thombor Shivat, during the winter session on Friday informed that an NOC had been issued by the Council for Acquisition of Land for Fencing of the International Border with Bangladesh. Thombor Shivat informed that the NOC was issued based on the requests and letter that was issued by the government from time to time because border areas of most of the state have been fenced except in West Jante Hills. To this, the opposition MDC, Holando Lamin, urged upon the JHADC to cancel the NOC and solve the matter amicably with the Wahe Chnongs or Headman, the Dolois and other stakeholders before taking further steps on the issue. Moving on, a fire broke out in the special newborn care unit of the Golpara Civil Hospital in Assam's Golpara district on Friday. The fire reportedly started at one corner of the unit and it is still not clear whether it was due to a short circuit or some waste material catching fire. According to officials, the fire could not cause much damage as it was down soon after it started. Nurses present at the spot reportedly broke open a window and began evacuating the infants. The infants are reportedly safe and have been admitted across private hospitals in in Golpara town for the time being. At least 19 people were injured as supporters of BJP and TMC clash in Telia Mura in Tripura's Khawai district, following which prohibitory orders under Section 144 of the CRPC was imposed in the area, police said on Friday. Total 19 persons, including two police personnel, were injured in the clash. Senior TMC leader Sushmita Dev alleged that despite directives from the Apex Court to ensure free and fair polls on November 25, candidates and activists of her party are under attack. Rejecting the allegations, BGP spokesperson Nabendu Bhattacharya said members of his party never attacked any TMC workers as they are not a political opponent in the state. Civic body polls would be held on November 25. Out of the total 20 civic bodies in the state, the ruling BGP has won seven uncontested. Three controversial farm laws that led to a massive farmer protest across the country for over a year will be withdrawn, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on Friday in a stunning announcement, just months before elections in states like Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. The announcement came on the Guru Purab festival when Sikhism founder Guru Nanak's birthday is celebrated across India, mainly in Punjab, where elections will be held in three months. Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vadra on Friday said the centre has decided to repeal the three farm laws only because of the upcoming elections. She said the Modi government has taken the decision to withdraw the farm laws as it had understood that they would face reverses in the upcoming elections. The Congress leader further said she was happy that the government had finally realised the strength of farmers and also the fact that no one is greater than the farmers. Former Congress President Rahul Gandhi described the centre's announcement to repeal three farm laws as a victory against injustice and said arrogance had to bow its head before the peaceful satyagraha of farmers. Austrian Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg said on Friday that the country will go into a national lockdown to contain a fourth wave of coronavirus cases. Schallenberg said the lockdown will start Monday and initially last for 10 days. Students will have to go back into homeschooling, restaurants will close and cultural events will be cancelled. Starting on February 1, the country will also make vaccinations mandatory. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Thank you.